be doing so. So there's some lovely studies looking at brain synchronicity, for example. So mm-hmm. our brains fire with electrical oscillations, moving so electrical signals zip across that neural circuit that's laid down in our brain. Um, baby's brain and the electrical um, kind of signals zip along at speeds of around 120 miles an hour you know minimum but we can actually measure those electrical signals across the brain using EEG and what people have found is that when groups of people are working together and effectively problem solving and learning together and building consensus then actually you get more brain synchronicity so those electrical signals start to become in step with each other They become in time and synchronized with each other, right? The better the group's working, the more it's learning, the more synchronicity there is between the individual members. So is there anything that we can do to try and help boost brain synchronicity so that we can help groups of people, whether it's a family, whether it's a team at work, whether it's a friendship group, whether it's wider society at large, is there anything that we can do to help boost that brain synchronicity within the group? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. So, okay. yeah, so that's handy. So, direct eye to eye gaze contact. So, looking people in the eye when you're communicating with them, that helps. Um, but also things like um, synchronized activity. So, it's thought that singing together helps oh. boost brain synchronicity, but also exercising together in a synchronized way. So, exercise is linked as well to this ability to form brain synchronicity throughout our life. So, that seems to be linked. So, if you want to create a nice harmonious team, then try listening to each other, gazing each other in the eye, not in a weird way, <laughs> <laughs> Just, and, and doing activities like singing or, you know, doing some exercise together. I think that's fantastic. So the, there's, there is a lot of merit to, you know, like office culture, like on Fridays, you know, like dressed out Fridays and then they have like activities and we do things outside of work. There's a lot of merit to those things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it helps. It literally helps bring people together that might have had very different backgrounds, very different experiences, very different areas of expertise. It helps bring those people together so that you can start thinking in tune with each other and understanding each other a little bit more and then more innovatively problem solving. And when you say brain synchronicity, these are like more than just like nice feelings towards each other. We're literally sort of, we, we're thinking in the same way, if the, you will. The electrical oscillations across the brain become in step. Ah. Pretty cool, hey? Yeah, very cool, very cool. Yeah. Um, but we also see that, um, like, you know, our physiology becomes can become in step with each other as well. So heartbeats, for example, can mm-hmm. become in step with each other. If I was frightened, I'd be giving off a signal through my sweat, which you probably wouldn't be aware of, which you'd process the smell of, which would l- tell you that I'm frightened. And so it would probably increase your heart rate so that you could get ready to physiologically for any threat that might be affecting you. So there's all of these mechanisms that are in play to help us work together as a unified group so that we can start to protect ourselves as individuals, but also help to protect the group and there's emotions for example if your neighbor is happy then it increases the chance that you're happy by something in the region of 26 percent wow so we're really influenced by each other yeah very yeah, evidently yeah. very much so there is a science of fate right there is a pr- biological right. predisposition but there is also the effect of people around us and the whole reason for this as i argue in the books is that it's so that When we come together as a group, we can share information and we can work together and get our way out of any challenges, any problems 